Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the Reebok logo. Someone requested this as well, and this is the best way I figured out how to do it with only 12 layers. So let's get started. Okay, so you're just going to start out with a square, make it big and white like that. Okay, then you're going to get a rectangle medium. And you're just going to kind of put it on here wherever you want it, really. Like that. And then you're going to get triangle thins. Well, one of them to begin with. And you're going to just kind of shape it to be like, like this. And... I'm thinking I might need to turn this a little bit to be like that. And you just fit it in there. And you're going to want to make all of this the, the darkest blue. And then you need another triangle thin. And the only thing this is used for is just to fill in this gap right here. So it doesn't really matter how you put it in. Just kind of throw it in there like that make it the same color. So then you have something that looks like this. Okay, then you're going to get an oval thin. And you're going to try to fit it on here. And since it looks like, I'm just going to leave it this color so you can see what I did wrong. This needs to be turned downwards a little more. And then this needs to be readjusted to be bigger so it will fit like this. See? And then you just make it white. And then there's your first shape of the Reebok thing. Okay. So after that, then you're going to go get a rectangle medium again. This time it's going to go right here around this area. And you want to keep it a, like a little space away because that's going to be the base of your next triangle. Okay? And make it the darkest blue. And then you get an arrowhead. From right here, page three, and then you take it and you do turn it so it'll fit in there like this, and you're going to use it to kind of make this piece, which is going to be, I think, something like this then make it white so you've got like a nice curve okay then another arrowhead and you just want to use the back here let me make it a different color so you can see you just want to use the back piece right here and make it into a triangle like that and then make it white so then it looks like this okay then for layer four, you need a square again, okay, and the square is going to the square. What is the square doing? I don't know what the square is doing to be honest with you. I forgot what I used it for. So I'm just going to get rid of it for a few minutes and move up to layer 3. And what we want is and well, I, w I think I remember what it was for, but first I'm going to go ahead sorry for confusing you, I'm trying to recreate this and it's a little bit difficult. Okay, so you get your inverted pentagon on layer 3 and you're going to put it yep, I was right, okay. So you're going to put it like 
probably about this distance from it. Just try to line it up with the other part and make it the dark blue as well. And then we're going to come back and get the square that I forgot what it was used for. And it is just turned so it makes a straight line with this end of it. Okay. And I guess just put it in there like that and then make it the same color. So then you got something that looks like this. Odd shapes. Okay, and then you just need a rectangle thin right here. Okay, and you're going to make your bottom out of it, which should look something like this. Kind of tilted. Make it white. So then you've got this shape. Which you can you can adjust it, you know, any way you want to really. Okay. And then layer one, the last layer, you just need another rectangle thin and you're just gonna make it the appropriate size, however big you think you want it or whatever. And then make it white. I want mine a little smaller than that. I think that looks pretty good. And so then that's all you do. Uh, thanks for watching.